Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out Lost Ruins. Uh, this is a Metroidvania game with what looks like some real nice pixel art. Uh, I don't really know what to expect apart from that, but I, I like Metroidvania games. <laughs> uh, the first thing I should mention, uh, I'm using a Pro Controller. This does not work well with a Pro Controller. Um, like, natively, like, it was detecting it was there, but it was like I was mashing a bunch of random buttons on the controller when I wasn't. <laughs> it was just doing all this weird stuff in the menus and just going all over the place. Uh, I have it now emulating a PS4 controller, and that seems to be completely compatible. No problem at all. Uh, so, if you want to play this with a pro controller, you'll need, like, a program like Rewasset that can do that for you. I believe there are free ones. Rewasset is a paid product. I don't really want to endorse it or anything. But yeah, you'll need something like that so that you can play the game properly with one of these. Otherwise, it just doesn't seem to work at all. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, yeah, this title screen looks gorgeous. Let's go new game and see what happens. Lost Ruins' design is a survival experience that requires the player to approach situations carefully. Make good use of items, react accordingly, and you're sure to succeed. Those interested in enjoying the story with minimal obstacles are encouraged to try the accessible difficulty. I'm glad it, I, I'm glad there's an option for accessible here. Um, like that that they're encouraging you to play it on that difficulty if you want to enjoy the story, which is really nice. I wish this one were not called recommended. Um, maybe call it like tough and then veteran and then hardcore or something like that. Uh, I'm just gonna go recommended and see how I go. Um. I do tend to find Metroidvania games kind of hard, so I may end up switching to accessible. I don't know if you can do that mid-game, but we'll find out, I guess. Huh? Where am I? I can't remember anything. I should take a look around. Okay, yeah, I can move. I can jump. I don't have any weapons. I can do a little roll. Uh, kind of a... Dead Cells sort of feely. There's a radish. HP potion, MP potion, and a journal. I've succeeded in eliminating the memory of the subject. But the brainwashing is not going well. Try the brainwashing again with a more toxic substance next time. I've never seen this writing before. But how can I read it? <laughs> I think it's a little bit silly, um, the way her standing still animation looks. Just having a little dance. <laughs> uh, considering, like, the circumstances, like, I think you would be a little less, uh, happy to have a little, a little, little jig. <laughs> uh, I need to roll through here. Okay. It's like a healing thing. It's a save point. Yeah, I jump with X. It's, it's B because I'm using a Switch Pro controller, but same deal. Uh, hello. Oh, you're also dancing. Whoa, who's that? Oh my. Someone else got summoned. Who are you? And what is this place? Okay, calm down. That's, um... That's... I don't love the way you've been drawn. Especially in the, uh... Shestal region. I, I don't... I don't love that. Um... We'll see how it goes. Okay, calm down. Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Beatrice. I'm the guardian of this ruined castle. Guardian? Yes. The vile, dark lady is sealed within this castle, and guardians have been protecting it for generations. Dark lady? The followers are summoning people from another world in order to break the seal. Uh, are you saying I'm from another world? Are you saying I've been isekai'd? Yes. Do you remember anything about where you come from? I just have faint images in my head. I can't remember much. 
He might be suffering temporary amnesia as a side effect of the summoning. I don't even remember my name. That's why I'm called Heroin. But we should continue this talk in a safer place. Follow this path until you find a camp. Okay. Again, like, the characters dancing like this, it's cute, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> I like the particle effects. Good. I'll be waiting for you at the camp. Oh, well, she can teleport. That's not fair. Yeah, I've got some nice items. Oh, the radish gives you healing over time, and the potions just give you immediate healing. Okay, I see. The log, I found the journal entry. Got my map. This is a Metroidvania. I notice I don't have a mini map on the screen. I'm not sure if that's by design or if there's a way to get one that I haven't found yet. Because, like, a lot of Metroidvanias will give you a little mini map. Portal. Enter portal. I assume I. Uh, I guess I'll try? Oh, I see. It's a fast travel mechanism to other portals once I've found them. Excellent. The visuals are very pretty. Like, this is some very nice sprite art. Smartphone message number one. Green monsters are everywhere. I'm sneaking around to avoid them, but it's only a matter of time before they find me. I want to go home. I want to eat my mom's homemade cooking, but... I can't remember where I lived, or what her food tasted like. I can't remember what my mom looks like. What happened to me? Gladius? Oh, got a sword now. Oh, that is a slow sword swing you have there. Very slow. Hello? That was scary. Why did he come at me like that? Did I do something to offend him? I got some toilet paper. Uh, I am paying- I am using the- Ow, I'm bleeding? Oof. That's not good. Uh, I'm using the- the left stick to move. You can also use the D-pad. I don't think it makes a difference. You seem to move at the same speed no matter how much you move the stick, so D-pad's probably better. Uh, yeah, I do need some healing. I think that's like a healing tutorial to let you know. This is how you heal yourself if you get hurt. Oh, I was meant to use the ointment, I think. Bleed damage, okay. Should have been more careful. Sharp spikes suddenly come out of holes in the ground and I almost got skewered. Luckily, the wound isn't deep, but the bleeding won't stop. I just afraid I'll bleed to death. I ripped off the parts of my clothes to try to bandage the wound, but it's not enough to stop the bleeding. I need to find a way to treat the wound. Okay, well, I'm not bleeding now, so I'm just gonna have a bit of a wander, see what I can find. I'm at a dead end. There's a small opening that someone could crawl through, but there's no way I can get past the sharp spikes that have burst up from the floor. I thought about going back the way I came, but it's swarming with those green monsters now. I do. Should I try to risk it and crawl through the other side through the hole? Uh, I feel like I'm just going to get spiked if I go that way. I'm going to try climbing and see if I can. Yeah, I can. I wasn't sure if my jump was good enough yet. This is a Metroidvania. It may have just been something I can't jump that high. <laughs> Only being hit with a sword isn't enough to make them like realize that they're being like attacked. Like they have to turn around and see you, which is interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna eat that cheese, I think. There we go. Just up my health a little bit. Nintendo Switch activate. Oh, a bridge. Neat. What's over here? Kitchen knife. Winged shoes. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, let's see, the kitchen knife, yeah, it's it's faster than the than the weapon I was using before. It does less damage, but it also causes bleeding. Nice. Uh, where are the winged shoes? Float when performing a mid-air attack. Oh, I see. 
gives me a little bit of little bit of floating. It's not really good. It's just a tiny bit better, but it's something. Uh. Ow. Was there a statue back here I could heal at? Do these heal you? No, they don't heal you. That makes sense, but it would be nice if they did. Probably eat something. Uh, let me see. The other potion. There we go, full health. Okay, I guess I can roll through here. Okay, I just, I see, I just like jumped over the spikes. Okay. Ah! Uh, I don't know what to do about burn damage. I don't think I have an item to stop that yet. <laughs> it definitely seems quite harsh. I can't get past this wooden wall. It doesn't look very strong, but I can't break through it with my bare hands. If only I had some tools. Like a sword. There we go. Oh, cool. That thing dropped some health. Ah! Whoa, what was that? The anvil has attacked me? I'm confused. What does the switch do? Nothing? Oh look at what's down here just in case it's something of interest. I'm guessing I can't break that just yet. I'll need some new item. Being in the water is slowing me down a bit. Way. The rusty sword better than something I already had? Probably not, right? The rusty it's about to break. It causes more bleeding, but it's still... But the, it's it's faster than the gladius as well, but it might break. Let's try switching to it, and then I'll, if it does break, we can switch back, right? I don't think there's a hunger mechanism in this game. I think? Hang on. Do I need to... Okay, yeah, just stab it over there. Okay, that makes sense. I can flip this through. Another radish. Oh, potion! Uh, let's see, L1. Cast spell. Phew! Neat. Get my MP back, thank you. I touched the green fluid on the ground, it felt like my body was on fire. It's definitely a very poisonous substance. There's too much of it to avoid, so I'd figure out a way to get rid of it. If there was a way to make a fire, I could try burning it, but I can't find anything I'd use to start fire. Um, well, there's some jars right here. What are these? Throwing, throwing weapon that causes lightning damage. Interesting. My firebolt spell. Can I shoot the firebolt just like this? Yes, I can. Neat. The animation is very fluid, but it's still weird that I'm dancing like this in this creepy, like, dungeon or whatever. <laughs> Oh, it's the camp. There you are. Some weird green person attacked me on my way here. You must have seen a goblin. Thought I took them all out, but they just keep coming. 
Anyway, this is a safe place. Take a look around. Can I heal here? That'd be great. Isn't this a vending machine? It's a machine made from ancient magic, which allows its users to put money into it, in it to buy things they need. I'll give you some money. Try buying something. Oh, thank you. Uh, I can buy a bow. Dynamite, fire wand, disposable hatchet, one-handed physical seven. Interesting. Long sword. If I just hit this button, I can check what I have, right? It's a little bit better than the gladius. Buy some more spells. What else can I buy? A bunch of items for healing and stuff like that. Some armor? Armor would be good. Let's get the armor. Need to equip it? Oh, I see. I get one of these items. Oh, interesting. So I can wear the armor or I can wear the boots. Well, let's go with the armor for now and see how we go. Water bottle. Looks like a computer. But it's different from the ones I know. The monitor looks pretty thick, too. It's something that can save lives. But I don't know how to use it. Got any ideas? Oh, it's the save point. Okay. Yep, that's right. That's a portal. You saw one near where we first met, right? You can teleport between portals you've already visited. Sure can. I think, yeah, I can zoom out a bit and just have a better look at what I'm doing. I don't really want to walk back right now, but handy to know that's an option. What can I do? Isn't there any way to get my memories back? Let me look into that for a second. I see. They sealed your memory during the summoning. Not only that, they were going to brainwash you, but failed. If they had brainwashed you, you'd be a sacrifice for summoning the Dark Lady right now. Is there any way to fix me? Followers of the Dark Lady sealed your memory, so finding and defeating them is your best bet. Won't it be dangerous if there are more of those green people? When you were summoned, great power was bestowed upon you. Dealing with a goblin wasn't that hard, was it? Sure, you'll be fine. Also, oh, with better equipment, I'm sure you'll be fine. You think so? But how will I find the Dark Lady's followers? The followers of the Dark Lady possess powerful magic, and you'll sense it when you're close. Don't you feel anything? I'm not sure, but I think I can feel something. It seems to be emanating from below. One of the followers must be in the subterranean canals. If you head down, you'll be able to find them. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm gonna have a little look around here first, see if there's anything else helpful. So I can't actually rest at the camp and like heal myself by the looks of things. Which is a shame because I would like to do that. Uh, let's check out another save just to record that we had that conversation. There we go. I should probably be using multiple save files just in case I mess something up. I get the impression this is the kind of game where you want to make sure you can backtrack if you mess up a save. Uh... Start going this way, I guess? Oh, I see. Those guys explode after a few seconds. What's going on with this guy? Ugh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's really hard to hit for some reason. Okay, we respawn over here with all the same stuff. Let's try that again. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll try going this way. Might be something helpful over here. Dynamite? Zombies. Zombies everywhere. I ran to avoid them, now I'm in a dead end. This place is swarming with zombies. Isn't there any way to get past this wall? You mean this one that you had left some dynamite for? I mean, I can think of something. Uh, dynamite. Yeah, I want to equip that. Uh, like that? Ointment, magic missile, bundle of earth wands. Magic missile launches an enemy seeking missile. Neat. Sounds cool. Oh, I already in pay, so I can't use any of those things. Okay, uh... Okay. <laughs> I assume these are the zombies we were talking about. Thankfully they are quite slow. Uh... Ointment. More ointment. Why are they carrying so much ointment? Cheese. Oh no, you look like me. What happened to you? I need to use my, my roll move to dodge attacks. I haven't been doing that at all. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I'll have some broccoli. Yum, yum, yum. And then my bread, I reckon. I need more health. There's another portal, which is nice. Uh, give me another side to hit that, it's too far away. Okay, I can see that stuff on the floor, but I don't know how to... Uh... Huh. Stuff cans of oil? No. I don't know how to how to clean it because it's on the ground. 
Because Firebolt goes forward. Hmm. There's a way to aim it that I haven't figured out. Oh, hang on. No, that wasn't it. Hmm. I don't know what to do with that room. I thought if I knocked down that, that torch on the ceiling, it might ignite the floor, but it, it didn't. Hey, can you help me? I can see through you. Are you okay? Did something happen to you? I can't remember, but... I think something strange happened to me. Are you okay? I have to go inside. There's some kind of medicine in there? I can't remember why, but I have a strong feeling. I must go inside, no matter what the cost. The door is locked. It looks like we need a key to open it. I'll go look for it. Um, oh, I can't get back up, so I actually have to go this way. Uh, are you an enemy? Or are you a friend? Uh, I think you might be an enemy. Ah! Oh my god. I'm taking so much damage. Absurd. Spark? New spell? Sounds good. Vegetable soup does not heal you. Yeah, I have a lightning spell now, which is nice. A hatchet? Dagger? Bit of gold in there, which is nice. Love to get a bit of gold. Dagger fastest? Is that fast in the kitchen now? No, it's the same. The dagger does more damage, though. But this hatchet? Fast. It's the same as the Gladius. Oh, right, that's one for hunting. All right. Oh, got a radish. Let's eat the radish. Broccoli. Let's eat the broccoli. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's gonna eat everything. Is that like an apple or something? It is an apple. Yum yum yum. Broccoli. Hello, slime. You need to be able to mostly jump over these guys, which isn't that's not too much of a problem. Oh, 
do a little dance on our way up. I feel like that room in the middle might be interesting. Hang on. Oh, oh, I need to roll into it. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Oh, it is interesting. Hello. Amulet of Life? Uh, broccoli. Laden Jar, Freeze. Journal? It's come to my attention the relationship between the two subjects isn't as strong as I had hoped. It was remarkably easy to break their bond from them only the slightest of challenges. An incredible waste of resources I've wasted on developing these pitiful effigies. It must be a far easier way than this. Coffee? Just coffee? Yeah, that just that does not heal you. I figured it probably wouldn't. Of life. Regenerates HP? Oh, but you max some HP goes down. Interesting. If I equip it. And take it off. Yeah, I see. Okay, up we go. Uh, not one of these guys. Uh... Hey. Up. Oh. Oops. I need some more MP, actually. Uh... Polar, I think? Yeah. So I can use my more powerful spells to actually shoot to hit that little switch on the other side. Because, uh, Spark doesn't seem to have much range. Whereas Firebolt does have range, as does Free, I think. Maybe Freeze does. Let's give, let's just do Firebolt, that seems to work. There you go. There we go, that's how you do it. Um, hello. I don't love the way you're animated. Oh god, there's multiple. Hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, little slime. I have to go in here again? Yes. Okay. I wish this had like a range section telling me how far things actually go. Pretty sure I need this one. I can hit that switch over there. Poison bottle. Huh. Okay, yeah, this one pops out little spiders. I don't 
uh, really want to have to fight. Okay. An antidote? Purifier. What's that do? Nullifies underwater poison damage. Nullifies poison attacks from the ground. Generates HP while wet. Interesting. Let's put a shot. It's very interesting to only equip one thing at a time. It's an odd choice, I think. Uh, where am I? Okay. I'm at the sewer lift, of course. Can I do a little dance? Oh, jeez. I was hoping the purifier would help me uh, withstand their attacks, but it doesn't seem to have done. Let's get another shot. Oh, jeez, they can juggle you? Oh no. Oh my god. I'm standing in water, I get healing, which is nice. Even if it's not really enough to protect me from active combat. Okay, what's that? Poison bottle? Okay, okay. Uh, I guess I was supposed to come from the other direction? Right. There's no fall damage. If there were fall damage in this game, it would be a little too harsh, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, what do we got over here? A couple of extra nice things. One do? I can't remember. Oh, uh, they explode at you. MP potion, yeah, I'll have that. Uh, more broccoli. I think the slimes like me? They found me food and scared away the zombies. I was scared of being alone or splitting up with her, but I'm glad the slimes are with me now. Coffee, uh, hello. Fire wands. Go up. I don't know if this rusty sword is actually going to break or if it's just like flavor text. I guess we'll see. <laughs> mm, go back out. Well, that looks like an interesting room, but I don't seem to be able to get in there. Oh, unless I can shoot that thing above me. Hmm. Is there a way to do that at this point? Can I- can my wand fire upwards? 
No. Watch out. Wow! You scared me! Can you stop showing up like that? I can sense a powerful aura up ahead. One of the Dark Lady's followers who summoned you must be close. Make sure you're prepared. Okay, so the boss is in the next room. There she goes again. Didn't even wait for me to reply. Do an exit. See, where have I not been yet? The key for the ghost girl, which seems to be over there. What if I walk back to camp and I drop down, there's actually something on the left side I maybe missed? Yeah, here. Why hander? Shield, HP potion. Nice stuff. Why hander? Two handed, slower. Weapon type, shield, a shield. Alright. Uh, equip the shield, is it? Okay, I can like hide behind it. I can't attack while I'm using it though. Hmm. I don't know how useful that's gonna be, but I've got it now, so that's cool. Uh. Not sure when enemies respawn, they might have come back by now. Yep, they have. Yeah, I know what I'm doing now, so that one's not a big deal. <laughs> oh, jeez. It takes, it's a little bit of a learning curve. Radish. Got the items and stuff also respawned, which is quite nice. Shield is really helping me that much. I wonder if. Oh, that's very slow. Very slow. Really a little too slow. Hmm. say about this bit being easy? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is go back to the water. Because if I stand in water, I heal. There we go. Yeah, the logic here is the dagger does more damage, but the knife bleeds. So you hit with the knife to get a bit of bleeding in, and then hit with the dagger. Is this what I'm going for? You drop anything of interest, or just a bunch of bones? Just like this bones.
did take a hit there, but that's okay. Maybe I got stuck trying to go over here before? Well, let's have a look and see if I can get anywhere over, over there now. Uh, the platforming controls are a little... not great. Uh, oh, that's right, this. Um, I may be able to use like an MP potion and then zap that with something like the lightning spell. Yes. Uh, hello. Try to invade your house and stab you to, to death, but, uh, I felt like it. I feel bad now. <laughs> okay, uh, well I got some stuff, so I guess I'll have a look at what I got. Uh, yeah, coffee is coffee. Amulet of poison. Regenerate HP when while taking poison damage. Poison damage stacks, poison damage 50%. Uh, that does sound good. Uh, and I got the poison bolt spell, which lets me poison enemies directly, but it's probably, it's, it's, it's not as expensive as firebolt, so it might be worth using. Oh, I want to save after what I just did. Hang on. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Uh, I'm not sure if it matters if I go this way or the way below. Oh, right, this. Um, anything I can do here yet? Let me see, do I have any other fire spells? No. I do have some fire wands. Might be worth trying one and see what happens. Oh, yep, that worked. Possible the spell would have worked as well, but, you know, whatever. Uh, there I go. Wait till that burns away. And we can grab all the nice stuff in this room. Rusty dagger, rusty sword, slingshot, blade and jar. Does slingshot have limited ammunition, or is it like, you just slingshot forever? Rusty dagger, physical 2, bleed 3. That's the kitchen knife, that's physical 3, bleed 2. So the dagger causes more bleeding, which is interesting. Hmm. I also got, yeah, the slingshot. Oh, throwing weapon damage increases. Okay, the slingshot's not a weapon. It's an upgrade to the stuff I already have. I'm just gonna hit sort on like all of these. Sort, sort, sort. Oh, I sort by different things, I see. Okay. Okay. I haven't found any like permanent upgrades yet, which is interesting. Uh, like in a Metroid, you'd, you'd get at least more full by now, and we haven't got anything of that, of that sort. We've just found like uh, side grade kind of items, I guess, would be a good way of describing it. Uh, hang on. I think I was supposed to make that jump so that I can go and get the key. Uh, but if I go to the next warp, I think it's quite far, actually. Then I can do that, but eh, it's a bit far. Hello. I just wanna, yeah. I can deal with these guys without too much trouble because I can heal. Go up here already? It doesn't look like I have. It's not showing up on the map. So let's go over here. Hello, zombie.
Oh, and there's the key. Okay. What did I do to you? I hate you. I want to see you again. And I can pull the switch, make a bit of a bridge. Oh, and I can drop down, so that's okay. Okay. Uh, what's in the vending machine? There's some new stuff, but I don't have much money now. Oh, that's an interesting one. It makes the gladius faster and you heal when you use it. Ah, uh, I got the key, I think. There you go. It opened. Ah, now I remember. I was with my friend, but we had a fight over something stupid and went our separate ways. Then I was attacked by slimes and ended up like this. Thank you for helping me. If you happen to see my friend, please tell her I'm sorry. Her name is... I remember. Lamy. Her name is Lamy. Oh. I've been seeing her journal, yeah. To meet Lamy, please help her. She has green hair with pigtails. Goodbye. Swimsuit? Okay. I attempt to create a dependent relationship between the two subjects in order to control them better was rather successful. It may be wise to drive a wedge between the pair to test the strength of their relationship. Oh no. Don't, don't like the sound of that. Uh, apparently I got a swimsuit. Rent's wetness. Nullifies underwater lightning damage. Lightning resistance 50. Purify is better. If I ever get two slots, I'm going to be so powerful. I'm guessing I won't ever get two slots, judging from the way these, these things have been going so far. <laughs> Is there anything on the other side here? I don't remember. I think I've been this way, actually. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm just gonna go have a quick swim. No big, no, no big deal. <laughs> I suppose I should switch my equipment when I'm not in water so that I get some other benefit instead of having protection from water. Like, instead of having healing in water, if I'm not in water, equip something else and then I'll get that benefit. Dead. Purifier... Uh... I mean, it gives you poison resistance as well, but, uh, let me see. The, like, the leather armor just gives me some resistance to attacks, which I think is probably better if I'm going into combat. Going into battle. I think that's much better. Water bottle... Hello. You're in my way. There we go. All right. Ah. <sighs> Quick Brock. Uh, I don't love the look of that. Can't crawl or anything, but I can roll. Oh my god! <laughs> I 
Okay, so the last, yeah, the last thing I did was get this key, so I need to do this little cutscene again. That's alright. I think there's a skip button, probably for this exact reason. Yeah. Yeah. I think I can go to the save point just in the next room and then come back, so I don't have to do that all again. I can't imagine playing this game on hardcore with, like, permadeath. That would just be absolutely wild. Yeah, that was the save point, but I guess I already had it. So it didn't, like, go ping and save. In the last one I visited or something. Uh... Damn it. I think I can't easily backtrack now, which is a bit annoying. And accidentally had a radish as well. Oh well. I can backtrack, but it's elevator. Alright, well, let's go this way. I think there's a computer over here, or at least something. Have a look. I think I missed that. Well, there's another save point. Well, I guess I've actually saved what I just did now, which is nice. Maybe we can go the other way. It'd be nice if rolling sped you up, but it, it doesn't. It definitely slows you down. There might be an equipment or something that flip-flops that, that I haven't got yet. Seems like the kind of thing this game would do. But with all those interesting bonuses you get. Drama. Okay, so I should switch out the purifier for the armor. Get to here. Goodness gracious me. I probably want to go and switch out to the uh, Healy thing again and just go heal for a little bit. Ow. Yeah, let's go heal. All I gotta do is just drop down here and equip the right item, and it just happens, so. Go. Da da da. Seems like they could have made an easier way to heal fast, given that you can just do this, just a waste of time, but, you know, whatever. I'm wondering if my health actually will ever go up. Because, like, it hasn't yet. It's gone down. 
I don't know if, if I'll, like, get experience or anything and increase my health that way. Get rid of that thing. Give me a sucker. Hitting these guys. There we go. Okay. Okay. Need a drink. All right. Okay. Good on with these guys. Okay. Done. And there's this uh, really scary part. Uh, yeah, we're back on. I got that heals me. I got an HP potion. That sounds great. Yeah, then get to this part with the swinging thingies. Just run. Uh, eat some broccoli. Uh... Okay. Hey, computer! Okay, where have I not been now? Uh, I did all of that stuff. That's the boss, which I'm about to do. I need to go over this way, if I can. Oh, right, yeah, I couldn't go that way. It was sealed off. Um, I'm going to take the opportunity to equipment this thing again, just have a little bit of a swim. Again, like, I, I think save points could just heal you, given that you can do this. It's just more annoying. <laughs> At least, like, the hard save points, like these computers. Maybe not the soft save points. Uh, let's go take on the boss, and then I reckon that'll be a video. Uh, oh yeah, I can warp the boss, can't I? I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, there's a warp down here, which can go right to where the boss is. Like so. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't really know if the boss is going to use poison or be in water at all or what. I'm guessing this is probably the best move, but we'll see, I suppose. Okay, you know, the boss is in water. Also, the boss seems to be uh, that goal that we're looking for. What's her name again? Lami. That's Lami. Right? Um, hi? Hi! You're wearing the same clothes as me. Were you summoned too? Yeah, our clothes look the same. Wanna be friends? Friends? Sure. Do you remember anything before being summoned? Maybe you knew me. Oh, hang on, maybe I'm not going to fight Lamy. Maybe I'm going to fight something else. Ah! Slimes! Watch out! Oh, hang on. Do I have to kill the slimes and then Lamy's going to get angry at me because I killed them? Is that the idea? Yeah. <laughs> 
Whew, it's safe now. What have you done? Huh? Why are you mad? What have you done to my friends? Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Those slimes are your friends? Get it together. They're monsters. You killed my friends. Die. 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 Oh, sweetie. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Don't use lightning when you're standing in water. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, do I have to kill them again? I assume so. Yes. No big deal, because, like, I can heal after killing one and I'll be fine. Sorry, sorry, I killed your friends. Sorry. Feel bad about that. Oh! Oh! Uh, hello! Again, not the biggest fan of this character design. Uh, I sort of stab in her boobs. <laughs> uh, hmm. if she's doing okay. N no, she's so mean. I don't miss her at all. The only friends I need are the slimes. They're really bad. Oh my god. Are you... Wait. Did I just give me a second equipment slot? Why? Oh my god. Ugh. That's gross. That's gross. There's no way out of here. Not now. Oh, it's you. Is there a way out of here? Hold on. I'll help you. Hey, Globby Platform, thanks. The person I just fought, was she a follower of the Dark Lady? Yes, her power was incredible. Yet you still defeated her. Very impressive. She was wearing the same clothes as me. Do you think she was summoned too? Didn't she change into a giant monster in the end? Yes. At first she looked human and we talked, but then she turned into a giant monster all of a sudden. That was the monster's true form. Only put on a disguise to look human. It must have killed the girl it summoned and took her clothes. I do think that's what happened. I, I, I think, I think Beatrice is the bad guy. I'm calling it right here. Oh no! I see. 
Do you remember anything new? I don't know. I feel like something's coming back, but not yet. Looks like defeating just one follower is not enough to break the seal. I have to face more of those horrible monsters? Unfortunately, but the seal has definitely gotten weaker. If you can defeat all the followers, your memory will return. And the Dark Lady will be free because the seal will have broken. Hmm. I don't trust you, Beatrice. Can you tell where the other followers are? I'm not sure. I think I sense something from above? There must be one in the castle. Being this way will lead you there. I'll return to camp for now. Okay, so beating the boss gave me two item slots in a way I don't approve of, uh, shall we say. So I can actually equip two of these things at a time, which is interesting. Did not expect that to happen. Uh, let's chuck on... Hmm... Choose? Like, they make you float a little bit, but not that much. They have a very small effect. Mm, I'll leave them on and see how I like it, I think. Well, I want whatever that is, but I can't reach it. Uh, um, hello. Are you like a shopkeep? Seafarer, you must cast anchor and moor. Uh, hello? Fortunately, you have not found yourself adrift in perilous waters as of yet. Perilous waters? Yes, waters of peril. Once a soul is corrupted by evil, it may never again sail upon a qu 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 quiescent? quiescent ocean travel tranquilly towards a celestial shore. Evil will entice even the vigilant. Be that as it may, we must prevail against our ignoble foes. Evil? How can we win against evil? One must triumph over one's earthly desires. Earthly desires? Greed, covetousness of riches which belong to others. That audacious avarice has veritably corrupted soul after soul, ad infinitum. But I've collected so many things on my way here. Does that mean I've become a corrupted soul too? Why? Have you prized open a gleaming golden casket with your cupidinous fingers and peered upon its prized possessions? A golden casket? I don't think I've ever opened anything like that. And so it is. You are not in perilous waters. Your virtuous vessel has remained unassailable to this very day. But, should your voyage veer towards a golden casket, dear stone would in flee. The cornucopia of opulence within the golden casket will beckon you. Yield not to its beguiling allure. Okay, I'll be careful. Heed my words. Do not open a golden casket. Freaking the ascetic lifestyle, apparently. Uh, where did quest show up? In here somewhere? By not opening the golden chest. Hmm. I'm not sure if, like, you open it and then she takes something off you, or... Oh, here's a golden chest immediately. You witness, you dare spree! Haha. <laughs> Die! Oh, I like her. I like her animation. We're so deciduous. Yummy! Well, this is a golden casket, right? Is that golden or silver? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna chuck down a save and see what happens. If I find a save, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Under the wands. Ah! Is this the camp? Am I back at the camp? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'll check in a save, then I'll see if that chest counts as a golden one, and then I think I'll call that a video. Because I'm curious.
quest failed. So that is a golden that is a golden chest. Uh, runestone, fire rune, runestone potion. What are the things I just got? I want to see what they do first. Serious runes, rune spell. It makes rune spells better and better. Oh, I see. That does sound good. I'm curious. If I go talk to her now, is she like, what, you immediately opened the chest? What the hell? Or... Let's find out. Oh, she's gone. Okay, so anything that looks like that is a golden chest. Okay. Load. Back to camp. Yes. And okay, now, our quest should be uh, back to being doable. Yeah, in progress. Cool. Oh, all right, so that's... What's this game called again? Lost Ruins. That's Lost Ruins. Uh, it's a pretty tough, pretty fun Metroidvania. Uh, with some questionable uh, design choices, let's say. Yoo-hoo, girl. Do you know how to open this door? Do you know how to talk? Of course I know how to talk. But no goblin I've ever come across has ever said a single word. There's a good reason. Us goblins can't afford to let that cuckoo cuck crone see us talking. Cuckoo crone? Yeah, even talking has been banned. We're being attacked indiscriminately. Anyone that doesn't do as she says gets tortured horribly until they die or go nuts. I'm out of here. This door won't open, I don't know what to do. Okay. Well, I'll try to open it. Thanks. Now we can get out of here. Hey, what the? How in the world did a goblin get in here? Are you okay? Good. By the way, I found a few new things, so have a look if you like. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I got some more spells. Summon Thunderstorm sounds pretty cool. Oops. Okay, so that opens up more of the camp. Yeah, I'm I'm calling it now. Beatrice is the villain. <laughs> uh, it's just it's it's. I mean, it's not subtle. Um, maybe I'm supposed to think Beatrice is the villain and she's not, but that's definitely the impression I'm getting. Uh, is this? Make this bridge go up? It does. Excellent. Grab the apple. For now. Above the camp, I guess. Oh god. Are the snowmen gonna kill me? Oh god, they are. Oh no. <laughs> they dropped carrots. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't, I don't think I'm high enough level for this area yet. I might come back later. What's up here? I did say I was going to finish the video, but I just want to have a bit of a look around. Since this is... Oh, hello. Since this is a Metroidvania, it, it kind of makes sense to just... Have a bit of a look and see what areas exist that I can reach with my current abilities. Get a roasted chicken. I definitely think we're supposed to be doing bad things right now and that Beatrice is misleading us. Why is the game not telling us what 
uh, enemies are called. There might be like an upgrade that does that. There often is. Hello. Hey there, honey. It sure has been a while since I last saw a human around here. Hello. What are you doing here? Me? Oh, just hunting, of course. Loads of harpies around here, so it's the perfect place for it. Can I join in? You're hunting harpies? Like I was doing a second ago? That's right. Not only does the meat taste good, but the feathers are pretty useful, too. You eat harpy meat? Like I do? But don't they look kind of... human? This is weirdly written because I had to, like, fight through a bunch of harpies and they dropped roast chicken to get here. Bingo. That's what makes them taste good. Maybe I'll try some later. Right now, I'm on a mission to track down the followers of the Dark Lady. The Dark Lady, you say? Wow, that brings back memories. I'd completely forgotten about her. Hold on a minute now. Why are you looking for followers of the Dark Lady? It's a long story, but basically I have to defeat them to get my memories back? Your memories? Wait, you weren't summoned here from another world, were you? Were you, honey? Actually, I was. Aha, uh -huh, I get it now. Do you know where they might be? The followers of the Dark Lady, I mean. The followers of the Dark Lady are... Actually, I have no idea. Are you sure? Yep. I don't know a single thing about the about the Dark Lady's followers. But if you need any meat or hunting supplies, I've got a lot to choose from. They'll even give you a special discount, honey. Uh, I can buy arrows, I can buy a bow, I can buy some other stuff from you. There's some ham, its origins are shrouded in mystery. Ooh, assassin's gloves, make my dagger stronger. I am using a lot of dagger. Uh, equipper, hot pack, assassin's gloves, those are good things. What the heck is this thing? The panel sparked when I hit it. I guess it means I just need to hit it one more time and it'll start up. More laden jars. Oh, I see. There you go. Easy. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna head back to the save point. I think... I think you get an idea of what this game is about. Um... I'm enjoying, you know, the combat and the Metroidvania aspect and some of the writing. I feel like this game is maybe a little uncomfortably horny. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> uh, but gameplay-wise, it's good. And I think the story is interesting, so... I guess I'll stick with it. I just may, it's just maybe if you don't love that kind of thing, you may have some trouble with this game. I don't love that kind of thing, and you may have noticed it made me a little uncomfortable. Huh. Oh, arrow. I can scrap those. That's my arrows now. Neat. Uh, oh, I see. It's marking where the golden chests are, so I can go and not get them. Oh, and that's where the boss was before I defeated her. I'm pretty sure she wasn't a villain. Pretty sure the person I just killed is not a villain. I feel bad about that. Alright. Uh, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, yeah, this is a game. <laughs> uh, it... Hmm. I mean, I like Metroidvania, so I'm probably going to keep playing, but... It's going to make me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> and I think you can probably tell why. Hmm. <sighs> That's it for this video. Bye!